today we are going to talk about how we put our baby to bed at five months. I'm a breastfeeding mom and I learned that breastfed babies tend to get hungry um, sooner and frequently than the formula fed babies kasi mas madaling nilang i-digest and ma-absorb yung, yung um, breast milk. So, I co-slept with him and I would feed him like in the middle of the night. Alam mo yun, yung, 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 parang zombie, parang lutang, di ba? And our pediatrician told us that at five months, he should be sleeping through the night, especially if it's beyond 15 pounds. He's now 22 pounds. He's now seven months and away. And he's been sleeping through the night with regular naps. We have found this one book na sobrang effective niya talaga. So, my husband and I both read this book just so we would have, you know, we, we would both have an idea how this book works. And yeah, it really did work for us in three days. He's biting my, my uh, finger because he's currently teething. Pakadam niyang teething toys, pero yung kamay ni mama yung gustong gusto niya talaga. Anyways, title of the book is called Sleep, Easy uh, Solution. And yes, if you could find it on Amazon, if you're in America, or if you have friends in America, or hopefully it's also available in Philippines. Sobrang effective niya talaga. As in, I recommend you to read this book. It, it, it is really a good investment. Invest on good diaper. Bakit? Kasi ayaw mo namang bumising siya in the middle of the night just because he's wet, just because he leaked, just because he's uncomfortable, or um, hindi siya hiyang dun sa diaper na binigyan sa kanya. Okay, so in our case, we use Japanese diaper and it does not disappoint ever since. Next, number two, feed the baby before going to bed. You don't wanna, you don't wanna let the baby wake up in the middle of the night because he's hungry, right? So what do you have to do? Feed him before bedtime, right? Make sure nabusog siya. And of course, number three, <laughs> okay, pagbusog na siya, huwag mo din kalimutan na ipaburp siya, alright? Kasi kapag di mo siya binurp, they feel uncomfortable and um, kapag ganun, maaring, maaari, <laughs> pwede, hindi rin sila makatulog agad kasi nga, hindi sila nakaburp. Diba? Alam mo yung ganyan na ganun, yung, yung hindi ka makaburp, yung gusto ka, yung gusto mong dumingkay, pero hindi ka makadingkay. Diba? Ang, ang uncomfortable sa pakiramdam nun, diba? Okay, so, ganun din sa mga babies. And then, number four, don't let them be overtired, okay? Mag mag huwag mo hayaang mag-pass mag na yung, um, yung tiredness nila, which is number five, okay? So, explain ko yun. Number five, Wait for a baby or look for a baby's cues. Ano ba yung mga singalis pag antok mo sa baby? Ayun yung parang um, nag-rub siya ng eyes niya. Tapos humihikap. Humihikap din yan. Tapos irritable. Okay, irritable. So yun yung mga cues na ibig sabihin, ready na si baby for bed. Kulit nitong anak ko eh. Um, gapang na gapang. Yun yung mga cues na, yun lang yung mga examples. Yung baby mo, yung other cues. With my babies. With my babies. Lang babies. With my baby. With my son, Monty. Say hi to the camera. Hi! <laughs> with my, with my uh, son, Monty. His cue is when he starts rubbing his eyes and then um, yawning and then yung parang nakatingin siya sa kawalan. <laughs> yung parang wala na siyang pakialam sa mundo. Yung ganun. Ibig sabihin nun, yung hindi na siya interesado. Ayun, parang disconnected na siya. Hindi na siya interesado sa ba. You're trying to play with him. Pero parang, hindi na siya interesado. Pagod na ako. Patulugin mo na ako. Yung ganun. Sabihin ganun. Ah! Ibig sabihin, ah! Ito niya. Ibig sabihin, antok na sila yan. So, kapag ganun, prepare mo na sila for bed time. Kasi kapag lumipas yun, para yung kape na magpaproduce ng, um, ng ano to, ng caffeine, alam mo yun, pag naamoy ka ng kape, may energize ka ulit. So yun, huwag mo hayaang magkasin kasi kapag naging overtired, overtired na sila, yan, naging fussy na sila, mas mahihirapan silang makatulog. Di ba yung parang tayo din yan eh, pag lumipas yung antok mo, hirap makatulog, di ba? Lalo sa office, yung parang kung nasa office ka, antok na antok ka, gusto mo matulog, so pwede mo ng bahay kasi lumipas yung antok mo, hindi ka makatulog. Ngayon, next thing yun, umaga na, tapos may pasok ka ulit, di ba? So yan lang, di ba? Okay? And then number six, um, make a bedtime routine. Okay, number six, 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 six. Make a bedtime routine. For example, um, with our son, we decided to have our bedtime routine at 7 p.m. So it's up to you, but according to the book that we read, okay, sleep, sleep, easy solution. Um, you, you can put your baby to bed from 7 to 8.30 the latest. So any any uh, hour beyond 8.30 is no longer healthy for a baby, okay? But once in a while, especially for my occasion, I think it's okay. Even the book says it's okay, right? But do not make it as a habit or as a, as a regular schedule, okay? Make your bedtime routine consistent. As in, yung talaga yung, I think that's the very key if you want to put your baby to bed successfully. You just have to be consistent with your bedtime routine. So if you you talk to your husband, di ba na 7, 7 p.m. dapat nasa, nasa kwarto na siya. Okay, so with our case, ah, did you just fart? He just farted. <laughs> okay. Um, in our case, we have nursery, so we, we put him to bed, or at least he goes to his um, bedroom at 7 p.m. Okay, so what I do is of course feed him dinner. We eat early anyways, we eat 6 o'clock. So after 6, I give him bath, and then 7, he has to be inside his room na. Okay, and then I do my night ritual. 
to make a day. And then after that, I feed him. Yeah, 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 I breastfeed him. And then after feeding, making sure that he's still drowsy or he's still awake, I put him to his crib. And then, you know, like, I pet him or I caress him, tell him I love him, and good night. You know, those are the words that will um, help him understand or prepare him. I do na pala. I bet na pala. Okay, so good night. See you tomorrow. Like that. I love you. Okay? Do not put them to bed when they're already asleep. Okay? So if they fell asleep while you're breastfeeding them or if you're, if you're uh, bottle feeding them, make sure to wake them up. Wake them up. Like, they're not waking like, hey, wake up, wake up, but make sure that they open their eyes, they know what's going on, they know what's up, and then, like, you know, you kind of pet them, kind of caress them, and make them feel like, hey, it's bedtime already, I'm gonna put you out to bed, you know, so, well, you're like, I'm gonna so once that pass, once that pass, you again, I promise you, okay? Oh, another thing, they have arousals through the night, so that's normal. What's that? Are you giving that to me? <laughs> they have, um, the book says they have this thing, what you call arousals, so no matter what, they will wake up once in a while, in the first few weeks, to a month, you know, and that's okay, that's okay. Um, they would cry for a minute to five minutes, but if it's more than five minutes, then maybe you should check them out because maybe they pooped or they're wet or there is really something wrong with them, okay? But if not, you know, you just pet them, secure them, tell them you love them. You have to let them know that you're there, okay? So don't ever, ever ignore them, right? But you don't rush into the room the moment they cry. You have to wait, okay? They need to, once again, our, our purpose here is for them to learn how to soothe themselves. They need to know how to learn how to sleep on their own, all right? So that's our purpose here. So do not rush into the room the moment we hear them cry. <laughs> oh, I have that tendency. So I'm soft when it comes to my son. But discipline, discipline. So it also tackles in that book. That's why I really, really, really highly recommend you guys to get and read that book because it's really so bad that It really helped us. And you will have more understanding, deeper understanding on how to do it. And, um, you know, when you're actually dealing with, with a situation, you know what to do and that you wouldn't have to worry about it. At the end of the day, though, every baby is different. Yung baby nga, ganito lang, matulog na. Yung, yung baby nga, kahit sa mo, ilagay tulog na. Yung isang baby naman, um, kahit anong gawin ko. Diba? Yung sumayaw sa'yo ka na, tumambling, tumambling ka na, gising pa rin siya. Kasi nga, every baby is different, right? We should not compare our babies to another. Kasi hindi siya helpful. Pwede mo siyang gawin as reference, but never compare your baby to them or and to, to for you to feel inse insecure for you to feel bad as a parent like for you to be worried why is my baby like this right because again every baby is different <laughs> but we all have our one goal for them to have a very good night's sleep and also tayo din we can't um, take care of them at our fullest, kung tayo mismo pagod na, diba? So we also need to be revived, re-energized, para mas maalagaan natin sila ng mabuti. And it's also for their own good din na, na makatulog sila ng mahimbing at mahaba. I think 7 o'clock is perfect for him. Dahil at night, meron pa kaming oras ng asawa ko na, alam mo yun, magawa yung mga bagay-bagay na, na gusto namin individually and then together. Like enjoying our movie nights on Friday night. And then um, since I also do food vlogging, I, I usually do it at night when he's already asleep. So those things, para siyang freedom. Kasi, hindi lang parang, kasi talagang freedom siya for us. Although, naiintindihan ko yung ibang nanay na, okay lang. Kasi, minsan lang naman silang bata. Totoo naman yun, minsan lang silang baby. Pero nakapagod din talaga, di ba? So, if you're that kind of mom, and it's not really an issue for you, good for you, good for you. I mean, wala akong question doon. Pero sa mga nanay na, gustong, alam mo yun, kahit paano, um, marigain yung time nila for themselves, di ba? Kasi, kailangan din natin, alone, alone time, me time, you know what I mean, right? Kahit yung nasa bahay ka lang, hindi mo naman kailangan lumabas, di ba, yung, yung magpaganda, magpasalon, para matawag na me time, alone time. Kahit nasa bahay ka, pwede kang magkaroon ng me time, alone time, as long as you're alone, alright? As long as there's no baby interruption. We, we all need that baby break. Especially with us, we don't have babysitters, we're away from both of his grandparents. So from the day he was born up until now, is we have never, we never went on a date just by ourselves. <laughs> yes, it's always with our baby. And I'm not complaining. That's why our alone time at night, at night is very important for both of us. So my husband and I enjoy our time. Um, you know, being alone together. You know what I mean? Like, he does his own thing, I do my own thing, and then we do our things together. So yeah, it's it's a very nice feeling. Um, what else? Yun lang. Actually, yun lang. So that's it. I hope it helps. If you have any questions, just comment down below, and I'll try to answer. Um, follow him on social. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye!